Hey guys, I'm Kevin and welcome to a new journey. Today we're going to start a new series. Actually, we're going to revisit an old series called Let's Play Ukulele Together. So rather than strumming like we usually do, I've been getting a lot of requests for finger picking. So in this series, it's going to be all about finger picking, finger picking patterns, and using different degrees of difficulty for the chord progressions that we use. So every day is going to have a different pattern, different chords to learn, and my goal is for you to really accelerate your playing as a finger picking ukulele player. So get yourself tuned up and let's get to it. Before we get started, I wanted to make mention of the All For Uke website where we will be hosting the rest of this series and all of the components that go along with it, like practice jam tracks, PDFs, and other course materials that are going to help you really accelerate your playing, including metronome markings and all the good stuff that you need. So I think you're really going to find some value in this, so make sure you check out this link that I'm going to pop up here on the screen right now. And let's get started. Before we get to the finger picking fun, I wanna make sure that we build a good foundation for ourselves. So first things first, we wanna make sure we have good plain posture and that our hands in the right position for finger picking. So when I refer to posture, I mean keeping yourself nice and straight up and also having the uke at a 45 degree angle resting on your upper thigh. I like to have the uke braced up against my torso as well and I like to cradle it with my finger picking or strumming hand. So to do that, I take my forearm and I rest it across the upper corner of the instrument and take my palm and put it right over the sound hole here. So this puts me in a good playing position. I don't even have to do anything with my fretting hand because I already have this braced up against my body nicely. So from there, we wanna make sure that our wrist and our fingers and our hand are in the best position for finger picking. So to do that, what I like to do is, and they don't do this in classical guitar, but I found with guitar and ukulele that putting your pinky on the instrument helps create a good brace and also helps you from lifting your hand up as you're finger picking. So it keeps everything nice and tight here as you're going. So take your pinky, rest it right below the sound hole, make contact. You don't have to press hard. Just make sure that you're getting good contact with the instrument. And what this also does is it keeps your hand and wrist all in a nice flat plane. And this will also keep your fingers up so that when you're ready to finger pick, you have space in your hand to actually move your fingers. Now let's talk a little bit about the fingers and the names that we're gonna use throughout this series. So the first finger that we talk about is our thumb. The thumb will be named P. The index finger will be named I. The middle finger will be named Yep, you guessed it, M, and then A for our ring finger, which we'll be using a little bit later in the series. So the main ones you wanna learn is P-I-M-A. Now that we have ourselves in good finger picking position, let's take a look here at how we're actually going to finger pick the string. So our thumb typically will be allocated to the G and the C string, the top two strings. Our index and middle finger will be allocated to the E and the A strings. So anytime we're playing, we have our fingers in nice position here to execute any finger picking pattern on these four strings. Now that we have ourselves in good playing position, let's take a look at the finger picking pattern. So the pattern is called the Travis pattern, and here is how it goes. We start off on the C string with our thumb, which is named P, and then we play the E string with our index finger, and then we move up to the G string with our thumb, that's P again. And then on the A string, we play that with our middle finger. So the pattern goes P, I, P, M. And the way that we count that is one and two and three and four and. So let's just try this together for a minute. We're gonna go nice and slow. I'll give us a four count in. We're not gonna focus at all on our fretting hand. Just leave these strings open. Make sure your pinky is resting on the instrument. I'll give us a four count in and let's just kind of relax, lay into this a little bit and work on our technique. So here we go. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. And you can watch your hand as you're doing this too. 
Just really focus on small movements. One and two and three and four and. So as you're first learning a finger picking pattern, your eyes can focus on your hand and watching your fingers. And I wanna make mention here that when I'm using my finger picking hand, I'm just making very small movements with my fingertip. I'm just pulling my finger into my palm. So I'm not actually lifting off of the instrument and I'm only moving from this knuckle right here. So everything is happening at the middle knuckle. I'm not pulling my full finger. Everything is just a nice small movement as I do this. So keep everything nice and soft as you go. And that's gonna help you as you go along in all of the different finger picking patterns that we check out in this series. If you're digging the sound of my uke, head over to allforuke.com slash shop. You can have a Kala ukulele for yourself. When you buy your Kala ukulele through All For Uke, you're supporting us and we really appreciate it. Make sure you check it out. Concerts, sopranos, tenors, baritones, a wide selection of accessories, capos, and more. All for you, allforuke.com slash shop. So now let's add the next element to this, which is the chord progression. So the quick chord progression that I have here to start off is C, C major seven, C seven, and F. And those will be on the screen for you as you play along with me here. So let me just quick demonstrate how this sounds when I play the pattern two times per chord. One and two and three and four and one and two All right, are you ready to play this together with me? I want you to really focus on a nice, balanced, even sound where your dynamics stay the same. Just try to stay nice and relaxed as you do this here. We can do this as many times as you'd like. Here we go. I'll give us a four count in. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. Sure you're smiling, you're playing the uke, what could be better? One and two and three and four and. We're gonna increase the difficulty level a little bit here for the second progression, so let's walk through the chords now. Again, we're gonna finger pick them twice through the pattern each time, and the chords will be D minor, G7, C, and A minor. So here we go, I'll give us a four count in again. Again, stay nice and relaxed. Start trying to bring your focus over here now to your fretting hand and start trusting your finger picking hand as you go here. So here we go, nice four count in. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two. Over to the C, nice and consistent. One and two. dominant seven over to the C back to a minor let's do it one more time here we go you got this one and two and three and four and one three and four and C three and four a minor are you ready to push yourself a little bit further with the chords yeah, you are, you are, you can do it. So here we go with our third progression, which is going to be F sharp minor, A major. Ooh, and here comes the old E major chord. And then we finish with a B major chord, which is a bar chord here. So check out those graphics. Before you start this finger picking pattern, feel free to spend a little time just working through these four chords and make sure that you can get a handle on that before you start doing this. So here we go again, four count in. We're gonna go through this nice and methodically. You got this, here we go. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and eight. Three and four and E and two. And B. F sharp minor. more time. Here we go. One and two and three and four and A. Three and four and E. Three and four and B and two and three and four. 
Well, thank you so much for joining me for our first Let's Play finger picking series. You showed up, you did the work, and you are going to improve if you keep doing these lessons and working through the process methodically. So I also want to encourage you to jump over to the All For Uke website where the rest of the series will be, and you'll have PDFs, practice jam tracks that you can play along with as much as you want, and that's really going to help you expand your playing abilities. Also, one last little thing here. Let me know where you're playing your uke. Somewhere around the world, I love hearing from you guys. I love hearing from all the places that you live. And let me know how long you've been playing, what type of uke you play. Do you spend more time finger picking, strumming, doing bar chords? What are your interests? I just want to learn more about our community here at All For Uke. My name's Kevin. I thank you so much for learning with me. I'll see you back here next time. Meet me down by the seaside we can howl at the moon rise Watch as the tide strolls